School did the same. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream tonight. I'm glad to see everyone here. I need to turn down the stream a little bit for myself. Um, <clears throat> one thing, as, as most of you know, if not everyone already knows, I, I had COVID. Um, again, fantastic. Not really. Uh, but anyways, I, I've out of the, the worst of it for sure at this point. But I may end up coughing a little bit, so I apologize at a time, because um, that's the one thing with with talking is it does make me feel the need to to cough more. But I'm okay, so no worries. I'm just I'm just coughing a little bit every now and then. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm happy to be back though. I am. I've I've actually I've missed streaming a lot. I've missed all of you guys a lot um and I'm, I'm happy to be back and playing some stuff and what better way than to start back up the streaming with some uh some stray dude let's go think about putting a console away if i had to which one would it be switch ps3 ps4 mm, you mean putting away as in like you're not going to be using it anymore um I would probably go with the PS3 too, to be honest. I mean, the PS3 has the PS3 has a lot of really cool games, but it also has a lot of remakes that you can play on the PlayStation 4, or you can use PlayStation Now to uh, stream a lot of a lot of the old ones. So, like, if I had to pick one of those ones for sure, but I uh, I'm really bad about just not <laughs> doing that. I have all of my game consoles out, <laughs> but I also have like a, uh, a dedicated little space over here just for all of my gaming junk though, so <laughs> oh, good, some more Zerg. Let's try not to die as soon as we get started back up here, shall we? That wouldn't be a good look. Oh god, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> Where are we trying to run to exactly? I don't know. Oh god. We jump like over to the other side. We can't. Oh god. Oh god. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, such wow. Such high energy. I mean. Oh god. We're supposed to go down, aren't we? It's fine. Uh, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, buddy. It's fine. See, everything's fine. We're great. I don't think the, the Zerks, is it Zerks, not Zerg? My bad. I don't think they can get up here, so we're good. We're good. No need to worry. Anyways, <laughs> so no Dragon Age? That's, uh, like, you only own Dragon Age on, on PS3, I'm guessing? I wonder, I mean, Dragon Age is a bit of an older game. I wonder if you'd be able to play it on your PC, your laptop that you have. Like I, if I remember correctly, your laptop's not a gaming laptop, but again, with with the game being older, um, it might be okay. I mean, look at like the Steam Deck. You know, it it sure it's a custom APU, but at the end of the day, it's just using an APU, and like it's able to make you know, it's all kinds of games, new and old. Kitty. <laughs> Would have been a lot more dramatic if that box didn't land right in front of the camera. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm a cat. Don't worry about it. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Aw, the kitty is actually hurt. Dude, don't hurt the kitty. Oh, kitty's already getting better. <laughs> Slowly. Got a bum leg, though. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> it's got to stop and lick its leg, of course. Are we going to be able to, like, jump up and whatnot? Okay. Yeah, okay. We can still, we can still jump and move around and things. We're going to be okay. It's a big kitty. Just look it better. wonder if you can play it on your new laptop. I mean, the RAM would be great. It's the graphics card you need to worry about. Um... 
Yeah, but even like integrated graphics for both Intel and AMD, but but AMD especially are decent, um, especially for you know like older games and uh, and light games and stuff like that. So and while I wouldn't call Dragon Age a light game, it is older at this point, so it very well may be okay for for that. Remember. Scientists I used to work with for, or we used to work for, always said he wanted to retire to a little college. Look, one thing COVID didn't help with is my brain. <laughs> Scientists I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least 100 years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's when the scientists would have wanted what the scientists would have wanted. First, we should go find Doc. Let's go. Wait, what's this? Ah, I can take a nap? Nap the leg all better. I think it's an intel. You'll check the specs later and see if it's possible. It, uh, I don't suppose they have a demo, do they, for Dragon Age? Probably not. I feel like most games around that time didn't make demos. No idea. Is that'd be the best way to test it? Because it can be it can be hard to tell sometimes, like what's the equivalent graphics card to like whatever's built into your 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 APU. So it's nice to just, you know, be able to run it and see, but yeah. Obviously that's not always a possibility though. Oh boy, so <clears throat> while I was off, I've been thinking a lot lately about trying tofu. Um, cause I, I've never, I've only ever had it a few times in my life and I've always been okay with it, but you know, not huge on it. Noodle on the other hand, Noodle was like really against it, <laughs> but I made like a tofu scramble with some roasted vegetable, well fried vegetables and things the first time. And uh, I can hardly taste anything because of the vid. But Noodle said it was okay, so we took the other half of the block of tofu tonight, and I made like a mushroom gravy, um, and I fried up the tofu and some fresh mush mushrooms to put in with the gravy, and then we dumped it over roasted root vegetables, and uh, I, again, I can't taste it a whole lot. What I could taste was pretty good, and Noodle said it was alright, so... She's not going to like it, probably, but I'm thinking about making tofu a pretty uh, standard part of our diet. It's also been really filling, too, I've noticed. Like, I don't know if that's the tofu or not, but both last night and dinner and tonight's dinner, even though it wasn't, like, extremely large portions or anything like that, I feel really full. And, uh, I mean, that's a good thing, you know? And especially considering, you know, most of, of both dinners were just vegetables um which is like a a a bit of of tofu mixed in with it sounds like your stomach shrunk yeah but I like i mean i i have had that happen before i i had a uh i didn't eat very much for a while let's just say but anyways um so like i do know what that's like but i i don't think i've really been decreasing portion sizes recently or anything like that um like even when i had covid i've still i've still been eating like, one thing it didn't affect was my appetite. <laughs> I can't taste as much, so I don't get as much enjoyment from the food. But I still like it, you know? But we've been eating a lot of pizza, like, a lot. Yeah, uh... <coughs> we, uh, usually eat pizza once a week, right, on Fridays. But while, while I was in COVID, I got some delivery from uh, the local Walmart. And we got a couple pizza crusts. Um, but it, and then we ate that on like a Wednesday. We ate one of them, right? And then Thursday came around and I didn't know what to cook. So I just made a fresh pizza crust from, you know, the stuff that I have at, around the house. Because I always keep flour in the house and I always keep yeast in my freezer. So like, I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll just make, I'll just make some more pizza this time without sauce. Because we didn't have any extra sauce laying around. And then, uh, of course, Friday came around. So we took the other actual pizza crust we had. And, uh, and ate an, another pizza. So over the course of three days, we had we had dinner for pizza or pizza for dinner every night for three days. And uh, I mean, it was good. What I could taste of it. The only thing I could really taste, sadly, was like savory with a little bit of salt. 
and uh I put a lot of garlic in basically everything I cook, but especially that sort of stuff. So I got a tiny bit of garlic with it as well. But that was that was pretty much it, sadly. Dinner for pizza, yes. <laughs> what does this... <laughs> oh, God. Dinner tastes like... Like pizza, oddly enough, man. <laughs> uh. You remember how bad the kidney infection shrunk your tummy? You could barely eat a saltine? That's crazy, man. Like, no. The worst I ever got was, like, a sandwich would have me stuff. That was, that was like, the worst I ever was. Not, not a saltine, you know, got me down to nothing. Okay, so we're looking for a fuse or something. Is what we're trying to find, by the way. That's why I'm running around in circles right now. In case anyone's curious. <laughs> trying to find it. But anyways, yeah, no, it's it was uh it's pretty good. I I like pizza. I like making homemade breads and pizzas and things like that. So it's like right up my alley. And honestly, like we we get those pre-made pizza doughs. Um, they're from the deli at our Walmart. I don't know if they they have them at all Walmart delis or not. Uh, but that's where we get them from, and they're they're pretty decent. But honestly, like, is relatively hard to work with every time we get them, except for once. Whereas, like, my homemade dough isn't. It's it's actually pretty easy to work with. And it doesn't, since we own a stand mixer, it doesn't take that much extra time to just make our own dough. So that's probably what I'm going to do in the future, is just make my own. It's just, uh, like, 20 minutes, you know, to throw everything in the bowl, let it, let it mix up, and then let it proof while you're, like, preheating the oven or whatever. Whoa. Doc's alive, everyone. Hi, Doc. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Since we're on the topic, what the heck makes a good chicken sandwich? I have the pre-cooked chicken stuff, and I made a sandwich with provolone cheese, Miracle Whip, and red onions, but I can't think of anything else to put on it. Um, so if you have the pre-cooked chicken in a can, I would make a chicken salad out of it. Uh, so, like, shred the chicken as finely as you can. Mix it with your Miracle Whip and onions, uh, like, finely diced onion right in it. Uh, some pickle in there a little bit of mustard and then if you like hot sauce a little bit of hot sauce is really good in it as well um noodle and i are both big fans of vinegar so we also put like a little bit of vinegar in it but like i understand vinegar is not necessarily for everyone though you got the frozen version does it still count uh probably i've never done it with the the frozen stuff before but i mean I would just, you know, warm it up, shred it to hell and back, and yeah, it would probably be pretty good. I don't see why not, honestly. Uh, the the frozen stuff that I get has more flavor than, like, the canned or bagged stuff. So, I mean, if anything, it would probably just make it taste a little bit better. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh, yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? I mean, not exactly, little little dude, but it's, like, similar in some ways, I guess. Okay, I'm assuming we're still looking for, like, the fuse or plug or whatever. Probably blitz it up in the food pro processors. <laughs> blitz it up in the food processor. Holy hell, why is that so hard to say? My only worry with doing that um, is that, like, blitzing up in the food processor, it may make it, like, too small, you know? I, I mean, I guess if you did, like, a very short blitz on it or something, it would probably be okay. But I wouldn't want it to turn into, like, mush, you know? Like, <laughs> that wouldn't be good.
also I'm sad to say that provolone cheese is definitely not my favorite, but you couldn't find any American. I'm not a huge fan of American, actually. The only time I like American cheese is to put it in like a uh, mac and cheese or something like that. I do like a little bit down in there and then burgers. That's about it. Provolone is one of my least favorites too, honestly, though, as I see Mr. Noodle saying. Um, but like, <laughs> uh, now I'm more of a fan of like cheddar and Colby Jack and, and, uh, pepper, pepper, is it pepper Jack? Yeah. Pepper Jack, stuff like that. But like, yeah, it's my instant pot of food processor. I forgot. No food processor is like a really fancy blender. Careful with that defluxer at full charge. It can explode zerks like confetti. Let's go, dude. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Is he meant to look like Doc from Back to the Future? I noticed that you you said something like that. I think maybe they were basing it off that kind of thing, honestly. This baby need. Oh, yeah, we already read that. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach a generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Yay, so he's <laughs> going to give us the fuse that we need then. I'm trying to see what kind of card this is. It's PCIe. I don't see any connectors on it, though. Is that VG? Oh, wait, no. Is that VGA? It looks like it might have a VGA connector on the back of it. Ancient graphics card. Nana has a blender but never uses it. Honestly, like, we have a couple blenders and we hardly ever use those either. We use... Dude, why do you have Zerks as pets? <laughs> I guess to study. We, uh, we use it every once in a while for, like, to blitz up, uh, like, chocolate chips or ice cream. I think is the last thing we use it for, just to mix our ice cream base together or whatever, but, yeah. Take this fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. Just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Thanks, bro. Mozzarella balls? Mozzarella balls would be good. Or mozzarella sticks. I'm all for the mozzarella sticks. Like Rue was saying, man. Mozzarella balls are good, don't get me wrong. But sticks? Dip it in some marinara sauce? Let's go, dude. Just pulse it a few times. Yeah, if you put it in a blender or the chicken in a blender or anything like that, you definitely don't want to want to like uh, just leave it on and forget about it because it'll it'll yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine that it'll end up being good. You'll end up with like that uh that pink goo from Teletubbies that they always try to say are actually chicken nuggets or whatever. <laughs> oh, the little balls. Like whenever you uh for anyone who doesn't know, you can buy mozzarella like little balls and they come in a bag or, or a tub and they're they're in a brine whenever you buy them and like yeah noodle really likes those they're okay they're not my favorite i'd rather eat like honestly if i'm just eating mozzarella i'd rather it be like string cheese or something but you did successfully make chicken wraps though man i just ate food don't make me hungry <laughs> You mean cheese curdles? Yeah, no, no. These are literally... It's literally just, uh... Balls of mozzarella. Oh god, we're gonna die! Ah, uh, no, I can't jump! We're dead. We're so fucking dead. Yep. <laughs> Wait, go back? Why do I need to go back? What happened? what I do? <laughs> Oh, is he shooting shooting them with it? Is that what that is? Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to help me. Oh, once he kills them all, he goes on to the next area. Dope. Okay. Can I get like a mini version of this to to strap to my back or something? God, I'm lost. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I lost the cable. 
We went through. Okay, yeah, we we gotta go up here. This is right, and then the window's right here. I ran right past it. See, so don't go up the stairs. I got it. I didn't realize that's what that was, man. I thought it was like, I don't know, the Zerks got intelligent suddenly and were were seeking me out or something, man. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Let's go, dude. Give me a portable defluxer. Let me kill them bastards. I have to turn on my AC. I'll be RV. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. This guy thinks my drone is fancy. That's so cool. Also, I can't really, because like you guys can't see my mouse, but the white picture right above his desk, it looks like it looks like there's a pair of balls. It's, I think it's meant to be the number three, like 35 equals something another. Look like a pair of balls. Just saying. Sideways though. Anyways. <laughs> It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Let's go, dude. So, how do I... If I just... Do I just turn on, like, the... The flashlight or something? How do I... How do I use this defluxer? B12 overheats fast. Beware. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Oh, and I see. He's got a little bar. There. Okay, yeah. So, he does... He does overheat fast. Got it. Hey, at least we have something to help protect us now, though. That's better than nothing. Look at them all just blow up. I love it. Kill all of the bastards, man. Take out all those zerks so we can get through. You're welcome. I did already. <laughs> wow, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can't overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. I'm surprised he didn't give us the defluxer... Like, when we got back to town, you know? It's weird that he gave it to us already. Because you would think, like, it's a big housing or whatever would be able to hold a better power source than this little tiny drone robot thing. Switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to find the other end of it. Maybe up in there. Is there a barrel that I can roll over here or something to jump on? There's... <laughs> excuse me. There's this barrel, but I can't roll it that way. Oh, okay, okay. I see. There's two barrels. Got it. I can do this. Puzzling good, dude. Let's go. Come on, Giddy, run. A little bit, a little bit faster now. You got this. Actually, I just remembered. Kitty hurt its leg, dude. Doc didn't do anything to fix my leg. I mean, the kitty looks okay, but still. Poor thing. I'm assuming we just need to pull this switch here. And hopefully we don't turn around to see Doc like dying. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Run away. Run away. <laughs> and then, okay, so whenever it does overheat, does that make it take longer? To cool off. <laughs> like, I imagine there's got to be some sort of downside to, to letting it overheat. Oh, shit. <laughs> run, Doc, run. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, they all, they all, they all dead? I think we're good. We Gucci. You doing all right, Doc? Ooh, that was close. Let's go back home. 
let's do Ooh. sorry i thought i heard another zerk thought maybe one of them like tried to just stealth kill doc or something also um excuse me game what is it? <laughs> uh guys i think our game might be haunted <laughs> You died like four times in this part? Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm sure we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? You got the stock? It's all clear, dude. Oh, wait. Did we make it back already? Well, shit, dude. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's cute, man. <laughs> Doc giving everyone hope now that they can't escape. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Thanks, man. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. I agree, dude. But before we do that, hold on. I got music. Hi, music lady. Oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. Yes, yes, yes. You think you can find more? I did find more. That's the last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. The music badge. Let's see. What is this last piece? Ballad of the Lonely Robot. I think I can play this. Look. Curl up. love the music in this game, man. I'm not gonna lie. This dude is so hot, though. <laughs> or is it the clown girl? I didn't think it was scary. Don't trust her. <laughs> no, I don't think Noodle would intentionally scare you or anything like that. <laughs> if I get more drama, I get to blame you. <laughs> Wait, really? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, so I have no idea. I, I legit don't think Noodle would try to, to scare you or anything like that, though. <laughs> I'm just joking around. <laughs> Mixed signals. <laughs> oh. I <laughs> so trust for now, then. For now, though, Noodle. Don't betray that trust. God damn it. One of these days, one of these bags isn't going to go on ahead. It's just going to give us, like, the most amazing gift of some sort, man. It's going to give us, like, an incinerator ray with infinite ammo. To just murder everything. Instead of just making us run around confused for, you know, <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> Momo's waiting for you on his boat. You can join him. But have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. I feel like we missed a couple memories and stuff somewhere, but... And, like, I want to... Complete it like get everything but at the same time like I want to I want to continue the game man. I don't know what to do Uh, I mean the game's relatively short if I decide to 100% it I'll come back and do it Went to mount your TV ran into stone <laughs> Fun always fun So <laughs> a 
what you're saying is you need a uh, stone bit. I, I'm assuming what you mean is there's like concrete or something in behind the behind the uh, drywall. Need a masonry bit. Well, I hope you get one soon, man. Sucks not having a TV set up. I mean, at least you got, like, your laptop and shit, right? So you can still watch something in the meantime, but still. Hi, Momo. Can't believe you found Doc and got the deflexor with this. Now we can go find Zabaltazar. <laughs> Let's go. Oh god, so wait a second. Is this like an on-rail shooter bit? Is that what's about to happen? I feel like that's what's about to happen. We're gonna be riding down this this tube here. Zerks are gonna be flying left and right trying to murder us. And all we got is this defluxer that overheats in half a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got your name. Yeah, mantles are, are terrible places to put TVs because that happens a surprising amount. <laughs> like, the mantle will fall or, or break or a child will hit something and yeah. Don't want the TV broken or, more importantly, don't want a child getting hurt, obviously. You talking, Momo? Momo, oh, no, you're a robot. Couldn't you just, like, walk through the sewer? Wouldn't that be faster than taking this, this little raft of yours? You forgot to tell us a story? Tell us the story. What happened? Are you, like... Are you talking to me? I don't see any way to open this gate. Can you take a look on the other side? Oh, I suppose. I'll just do everything. Access control system? I mean, that sounds like a good place to go, but it doesn't look like we can actually go in there. I only see one way forward, so I say we go that way. You don't like that robot's voice? Hello, OptiJack, and why don't you like that robot's voice? Giving you some bad vibes? I don't think the robot's a bad dude. I <laughs> I don't I wouldn't blame the robots in this situation. I think the robots are fine. Fuck fuck. <laughs> Come on, cool off, thank you. We're fine. Everything is fine, fuck. <laughs> There we go. We're good. We're Gucci. <laughs> I should have known those stupid egg sack. They, oh, God. There's still one running around. Was going to blow up, and those things were just going to come pouring out of it. Who was not traumatized? Is the company making up lies? I don't know. It sounds like fake news to me, man. Got this coworker named Eddie. Well, he's a coworker now. He was really obsessed with getting a job like mine last semester. He has this friend named Curtis that he played games with before. And finally got to meet in person. Wonder how we became instant friends? How, dude? Um, uh, video game. Stray. It was Stray. You both bonded over your love of Stray. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't think I've announced on stream and seeing Optijack here made me think of it. Um, Optijack and I plan on every other Friday doing a Civ run against each other. Um, and then we'll still do RimWorld on the other Fridays. Never been this far out of the slums with you here. I'm not even scared. Uh, you probably should be. I'm scared. That's for sure. But yeah, since it is meant to be like a RimWorld slash strategy day anyways, and so far all we've done is play RimWorld, which don't get me wrong, I'm really enjoying. I'm excited to see how this colony's gonna die. But, uh, <laughs> like, actually die. But, uh, yeah, no, I've, 
we've been wanting to play Civ for a long time, and I want to switch it up a little bit too. After you know, it's been a few months at this point. So, yeah, I'm gonna whoop him. Optijax never actually beat me at a game of Civ before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes. I am also extremely out of practice, though. I haven't played a game of Civ, nor have I watched any Civ content in a long time. <laughs> And just to be perfectly clear with everyone, neither one of us are Civ pros in any way. <laughs> we both just like Civilization, but we play on like, you know, standard difficulties. We're not Civ gods or anything like that. Just a couple of dudes having fun with Civ. <laughs> like, just, just to make that painfully clear. Second I said, oh, nice bad dragon sticker and started making fun of Eddie for being a naive little child, which is super fun, by the way. It's fun ruining that innocence and boom, instant vibes. I remember one time at work, I was unloading the truck um, for the store with, I don't remember who all was there. Optijack might have been there. I don't remember. Whoever it was, they didn't know that they made like giant um, dildos and dildos in like different shapes other than, you know, realistic or smooth, basically. And uh, I brought up Bad Dragon being one of those companies. And then this one manager started walking towards the, the truck and came in the truck. And uh, I was cool with him, so I knew it would be all right. So I was just like, hey, man, you know about them Bad Dragons, right? And he's like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, the dildos. <laughs> and I was just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn straight, man. It was, it was great. Good time. Good time. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Let's do it, Momo. Just trying to get a good... I'm not going to say that out loud, but... Uh... <laughs> I try to play peacefully like half the time. I might use the occasional Cold War tactic, but generally speaking, I usually try to play peacefully, but then somebody forces my hand. So, like, <laughs> got to do what you got to do, man. Can't go on without you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When he finds the Baltazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. What? No, dude, we're not leaving, Momo. There's... What? Game. There's gotta be a way to, like, bring Momo with us. Can't just leave him behind. Without him, we'd be screwed. Everyone would be screwed. Momo, savior of, savior of the world. And some best friend acquired. I can see why, honestly. It's a good story, too, to tell, to tell you know, all of your friends and things in the future. Like, hey, how'd you make that, that best friend of yours over there? Well, you see, we were talking about dildos. <laughs> over the course of this game, you guys will see the trust between us diminish. Nah, dude, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. He's a fear monger, that's all. <laughs> I thought that was like a suit for a second, but no, that's just like a, a robot missing its head. Perfect. Idea is way too innocent. Guess who taught him? What a queef. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he never missed a chance not to let his brother win. This is true, man. I mean, I, I'm of the opinion that unless you're playing like a small child in a video game, otherwise. You should try uh, your hardest, man. Like letting 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 them win isn't gonna do anything for them, you know. So you should just try your best and and go about it. Like <laughs> you hate this part. I mean, I don't know. So far, it seems okay. Just trying to take it slow, kill all the the zerks that get in the way. I don't know which way to go though. This looks. Like, it's probably the way to go. So, for that reason, I'm going to go the other way. Wait, hold on. Is this the way to go? Can we go down from here? I can't tell. I don't see a memory or anything. And I I, I want to go in this vent over here. Because I saw it. It looks like a neat way to go. But, like... So, what's back over here? Memory! Let's go, dude. Glad I turned around. I don't know why I'm still trying to collect them all, considering, you know, I don't think I can get them all at this point. The sewer system, yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. 
The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They're huge and contain a whole building in them. Cool, cool. Trick parents, maybe? Yeah, something. To not even know that much, like, what a dodo is. It's kind of insane, honestly, like... Growing up with the internet, I don't know how you couldn't know at least the basics, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, maybe it's just me, but I was 12 years old and curious at, at a time, you know? <laughs> like, so... And the internet makes it so easy to find everything. Not that I would suggest any children do so, but like, let's be honest, man. I know I did. And uh, like school and shit like that too. That's the other thing that really kills me. Like I remember fourth grade, I think it was, a kid stole one of his dad's pornos and brought it to school and was like showing it to different guys there. Like, like porno magazines. So it's like, how could you go, you know, like, <laughs> between public school and uh, an internet, how can you become an adult without knowing, like, just the basics, at least, you know? Like, nothing wrong with it if that's not your jam and you, you choose not to or whatever, that's fine. But, like, I didn't really have a choice in the matter. I was, I was gonna learn about these things one way or another, you know? <laughs> so it's just blows my mind that some people are able to uh, avoid it for that long like he's really smart with computers and on the internet yeah see that's crazy dude like how are you gonna spend any time on the internet and not and not see some things <laughs> by choice or otherwise Taking my time as slow as I can, because, uh, yeah, I'm trying not to die here. Oh, God, we're going to end up getting surrounded at some point, though. Right, did more just pop? Or is that, like, leftover pops from a minute ago? Load, load, thank you. fun embarrassing him. We were talking about having a friend fix her 3DS volume button. And he accidentally called a party just a butt plug. <laughs> oh, God. Always tell Noodle I'm going to get her a butt plug and make her use it. She farts a lot. <laughs> Conversations that come from teenage boys just by walking down the halls at school. Like, how? yeah. Very true, dude. Very, very true. It's true. <laughs> Don't yell at me. Yell at her. <laughs> Usually when trying to show me girl. See, I stayed away from all the really nasty videos. The ones that I'm not going to name and don't want named in chat. Um... Because, like, I, I knew of them and knew what they were about. But if somebody tried to show me one, I was just like, no. Or if they just randomly were like, hey... Go to this link. I'd be like, no, I'm good. I don't want to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, man. I, I ain't all about that. Yes, yeah, save Sir John because of you guys. <laughs> so all I'm hearing here is you guys are the bad influences in his life. He's the people his, uh, his sheltered, strict parents told him to stay the hell away from growing up. Okay, I think everyone's dead now. Hit the button. Suddenly flood. She clips exist and they rule. You didn't know that she clips were a thing? Noodle's been wanting to get some for a long time, but uh, I've resisted so far. Just because I don't think they're that necessary, to be honest. Like, I don't know. I don't have that much trouble with my, my sheets coming up, but like... It happens every once in a while for me, but it's not that big of a deal. Noodle hates it, though, whenever it happens, so I get why she wants them. 
It's fantastic, fantastic to not have to fix them this morning. Wait, do you have to fix them like every morning? My side of the bed probably screws up like once a week, man. Of course, these days we have like a fitted sheet on the bed itself. And then we have a, a blanket that's basically the perfect size for our bed on top of the sheet. So um, that probably helps the, the sheet not come up that much. Be prepared for creeps. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Didn't want people to think I was out ready to break others' computers over simple prank type mess. <laughs> What? What the hell, what the hell is this? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, like, dude, I get the Zerks, right? Like, little bacteria bros or whatever that now just, like, eat everything. But what is with the giant eyeballs on the wall? How does, how does bacteria form a giant eyeball or, or giant groups of eyeballs on the wall? How the hell does that work? And they summon Zerks, you say? Oh my god. Okay. So if we step in and they see us, I'm guessing, they're all probably gonna, like, stare at us now. Yep. Okay, they're not, like, actually staring at us. I was expecting them to, like... Oh, shit. I was expecting, like, all of the eyeballs to suddenly, like, turn towards us and to just, like, stay... You know, like, follow us around. This is honestly what I was expecting. Oh, no, they do follow your movement? Do they really? Oh, yeah, I guess they do a little bit, huh? The effect isn't as intense as I thought it would be, but you're right. They definitely do. Oh, shining the light on the egg sacs blows up the egg sacs, too. I guess that's a way we can kind of blow up the egg sacs from a distance. I'm assuming the Zerk can jump up here, though. Yeah. Kind of. They're struggling with it, but they can technically do it. As I said, I'm just taking my time, man. Because I feel like I feel like if we rush, we're just gonna die. had the worst time with the dishwasher what happened to the dishwasher oh, hi buddy see i think the zerk are just misunderstood man they just want to be friends can't go in that one thought maybe we could go in that pipe Can we just yolo it mm, wings wings sound fantastic dude one of my favorite foods for sure i've been wanting to get stuff to make wings at home but like i don't know i just hate like the oil and like you can reuse fry oil so like it's not a complete waste but you know spending all the time straining it out and properly storing it and then you still want to use it within a certain amount of time because while the oil itself lasts for a good while any bits that make it through the the straining process can go bad and then the oil itself can eventually go rancid and it's just like i don't know man it's just such a pain in the ass and since i use a deep fryer not like a pan fryer it uses a fair bit of oil like at least half a gallon minimum to fry anything in I've done them, I'll use the air fryer at home. I've done the air fryer before and like those are decent, right? Like it's 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 good enough, don't get me wrong, but I definitely do prefer deep fried wings. You just don't get the same crispy skin, like as as crispy of skin with the uh, with the air fryer as you do the, the actual proper deep fryer. One thing that I have done which has helped is throwing or tossing them in a little bit of um, cornstarch before before throwing them in the air fryer. That certainly helped. And then I haven't actually done it, but I know something else that you can do is uh, put some, some salt on them, put them in the fridge uncovered for like up to 24 hours. And then that'll draw out a bunch of the moisture and help dry dry out the outside layer of the, the wings, the, the skin and whatnot. And that can help a lot too for crisping them up real nice, both in a deep fryer and in, in a uh, air fryer. So 
One of these days, I'll probably end up doing that, but like... You put a load in, started it, ate a piece of cake, went to rinse off the spoon so you can use it to give the kitties their pumpkin. Went to use the hose on the sink, it didn't work. Forgot to hook up the dishwasher, so when I tried to hook it up, turned the water on first before attaching the hose. Oh no, Noodle, you poor thing. Bit of olive oil and butter and you will get a crisp with less oil. Uh, unpopular opinion, I don't like olive oil. <laughs> I know, I know a lot of people like swear by it. I don't like it. Where'd you go? Yes, I had COVID. <laughs> my my second confirmed case and uh, probably third case all together. So it's been good. It's okay. I've been telling everyone I'm gonna be super immune in no time. You know, I've got I've gotten both shots at this point, and I've had at least two two confirmed cases of COVID. So like, <laughs> I have my my super immunity's coming along just fine. <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be back too. Honestly, I, I, like I mentioned, I've, uh, three shot. Well, yeah, the first shot was two rounds, but whatever. I, uh, I, I really have missed it. I've, I've missed streaming. I've missed playing games. I've missed talking to you guys. Um, so I am really happy to be back. Back into it. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you just die? Thank you. You might be the super mean one. Six close encounters in one year and you never caught it. Lucky as shit, dude. And possibly another. Yeah, I've already told Noodle I'm making her get the, uh, well, both of us. But I I have no problem getting it. Noodle's, like, crying about it. The next booster shot whenever it's available. <laughs> Especially, like, specifically for the, uh, the new variants. Which... From what I've read, anyone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but the new variants seem to be going down the path of a less deadly but more infectious. Which leads me to believe we're probably just going to end up with something like the common cold or something, you know? Just another virus that causes, you know, cold-like symptoms. Um, I, maybe the flu would be a little bit more apt because I imagine even with it becoming less and less deadly, it'll still have a... Uh, a higher mortality rate than than the common cold does. I'm guessing. I don't really know here, obviously. But uh, yeah, no, that's that's how I that's how I look at it, man. Probably gonna end up with another thing that goes around once or twice a year that we all have to deal with. Uh, so now I gotta get to the other side. How do we do that? I said that about it in the beginning. Well, yeah, I mean the chance of us like completely eradicating it was basically zero from the get-go. So I always knew we were going to have to find a way to live with it. But uh, I, I didn't expect, and I don't think anybody could reasonably expect for it to mutate the way it did and as quickly as it did. Um, to to the point now where, where we're at now with it, with it. You know, we've had, what, three three or four different major strains that, that have changed the, the virus in enough ways um, that it can somewhat bypass current vaccines and, and obviously have slightly different effects on, on us. Oh god, oh god. We're fine. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll just end up being like herpes, dude. Herpes used to be something that, like, killed people. Like, herpes simplex, the, the non-deadly kind. Used to be something that killed people, and nowadays, like, what, 80% of the world or something has herpes, and, like, it's fine. You just get a cold sore every once in a while. You, ha you had a thought it'd go that way as soon as the first variant happened? I, uh, I definitely didn't, man. I'll just be honest, like... Because most viruses don't do that. <laughs> At least not that quickly. I mean, at the end of the day, the goal for a virus, you're still somewhat alive. The goal for a virus is to spread as much as possible. And if you only infect, say, humans, then killing off humans is is not really what you want to do, actually, right? It would be better. It'd be in the best interest of the virus if it can be like herpes and then just live inside of you and have little to no consequences of it living inside you. That way it can 
it can spread as much as it wants. It can live inside your body happily, and then it can move on to the next one and spread inside them, etc., etc., etc. So, like, it's in their best interest to work that way, but obviously that usually takes, like, hundreds or thousands of years of evolution to get to that point, um, whereas this one just very quickly has has calmed it down from what I've read. It's still It's still deadly, you know? It's still... Like what one percent of cases or something like that without treatment are uh, are deadly, but yeah. Does a virus even think like that though? No, the virus itself doesn't think at all, right? Because viruses they don't have brains, right? They don't have a consciousness. But if you have a super deadly virus, right, that that kills you too quickly for you to spread. Um, it to to the next host Then that virus is going to end up killing itself off because it won't be able to spread to its next host to then Multiply and spread to the next one, etc, etc, right? Um, whereas viruses that have Just enough effect so that they can exit your body and spread to the next one like say the cold But without killing you they can become super prevalent, you know and spread throughout many many hosts because they're not killing the people that they that they infect and they cause enough symptoms that like whenever you cough or sneeze or whatever you can spread it around and and that just means that virus ends up kind of taking over right it kind of evolves and, and slowly continues on down the food chain or whatever then you have viruses like herpes for instance right i mean it has many different kinds but like the kind that just causes cold sores used to be deadly from what i've read fact check all of this i'm just a guy on the internet after all but from what I've read, it used to be pretty deadly. Um, but slowly over time, it became less and less deadly. And as it did so, more and more people actually were getting infected with it because it wasn't killing the people it infected, right? Suddenly, people were able to live almost their whole lives with it and then their whole lives with it. So instead of having, you know, a period of, say, a month where they, they are infectious and can infect other people, they had years or ent entire lives where they could spread it on to the next person and that's why now like the majority of the world is infected with herpes um so yeah 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 now one thing a virus still has to be able to cause some sort of symptoms though so that it can spread from host to host um so with herpes it's the cold sores um as well as from like parent to child sort of thing with you know uh uh milk and 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 I don't know if it actually can, like if a baby can be infected with it in utero or not, but like, yeah. And then like with the cold, you have, you know, coughing, sneezing. That's kind of the most common one, at least for respiratory infections, right? You have coughing, sneezing. Um, and then you have like mono, where it's basically just like kissing, etc. but whatever. Because you were grounded in science, which is good, where I had lack of knowledge and random guess. <laughs> Maybe can come out addicted to mess, so I say it's a solid possibility. Right, but like, uh, <laughs> you're very, you're very right. And some diseases definitely can be passed in in, in utero. I mean, that was a big um, worry with with the AIDS pandemic, right? Um, that that a, a mother may pass that on to their child. Um, but the oh god, oh god, so many things. Okay, <laughs> but uh, your mother's immune system plays a large role in helping the baby uh, or, the, or the, the fetus not contract like diseases and stuff like that. And then some studies have also shown that the, the fetus helps the mother out in some ways too, using like the magic of stem cells to help repair tissue and stuff like that. Um, this is all just random stuff that I've read. So again, back check. But uh, yeah, I've seen things like not related to a virus, but like a mother with heart disease, um, their heart disease can actually improve a little bit while they have a, a baby growing inside of them. And the belief had something to do with like the stem cells from the mother, or I'm sorry, from the forming baby um, circulating throughout the mother's bloodstream. Um, and those were able to then like attach to damaged parts of the heart or whatever and help to heal it stuff like that I, I don't know but anyways point is a lot of immune system stuff going on I don't think all diseases can be passed in utero from parent to child I don't think 
but I 100% could be wrong on that. I don't know. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network, but you saved me. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defluxer is completely destroyed now. What had to be? What? <laughs> we just got the new toy, man. <laughs> just just pre-game with emergency before conception. Let's go, dude. <laughs> just pound back. Uh, just straight powder. Don't even mix it with no water or anything. Just snort that shit right in. Mm. <laughs> Viruses are weird. Virus bacteria, all of it's weird, man. It's all weird stuff. And to think, we used to be one of them. <laughs> Way back in the <laughs> in the day. I can't believe we already lost our, uh, our defluxer beam. I'm very upset about that, man. I liked being able to kill those little bastards that were roaming around. Oh. oh god, it's actually time for an ad break. I just looked over and saw, and that's probably a good thing, because I need to take a drink, because I am dying. <laughs> Didn't you say they use one to help with the... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I guess since the ad's running, we can continue the science talk for a moment. Uh, one thing they're doing is uh, genetic engineering, and the, the reason that they're able to genetically modify things, genetically engineer... Uh, they use a uh, CRISPR where they take from my limited understanding of it all they take a virus that is able to replace sections of DNA and its host with sections of its own right um, so what they do is they take a virus and they replace the section that they cut out and replace with whatever they want to replace it with I'm saying replace a lot point is they modify a virus, they inject you with it, that virus implants that DNA in your DNA. They cut out the bad DNA and put the good DNA in, and uh, that's how they do, like, genetic modification and stuff like that. It's weird, and it wouldn't be possible without, like, viruses, and uh, it's really cool and really weird at the same time. So ready for Thanksgiving break night, guys. I wish I had one, but <laughs> anyways, have a good night, Ruth. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit, dude. I will hopefully see you Tuesday. <laughs> Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits. But yeah, no, the uh, the ad is running though, so I really I'm gonna I'm gonna get a drink and uh, let my voice rest for just a minute, and I'll brb. Little grenade icon up top there, but I'm not sure. Like, I, I think I've... Oh, no, okay, there's a circle. Circle does grenades. If, see, if I had watched the uh, tutorial, I probably would have known that. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, can I jump up here? Oh, well, that was a bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, but it, when you respawn, you get all of your grenades back, too. Interesting. So I feel like... I don't know if this game has a speedrun community at all. But I feel like that'd be a strat, would be to, to intentionally take damage to regain grenades and things. He looks angry all of a sudden. Okay, he's flying. Oh, do I have to, like, shoot up? He crashed on me. Got it. Oh, wait. Did, oh, okay, no. It just knocked me over. I thought just being on the ground damaged me there. Nah, it just, uh, just stuns me for a sec. Oh, okay, well, somebody hit me, though. It's alright. This is just my last life. That's all. It's fine. Just, just bullet hell. Just spam. Just spam and he'll die, right? I think we, I think we did it. Floor is lava. No. Can I pick up the eyeball? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. So at the end of the first level, I think we did it. I'm kind of surprised to be honest. I was fully expecting the game over. Harder than I expected. I some of the controls are. Li
Oh, I need to do to do capture card. Deactivate. Activate. Okay, hold on. Why the capture card disappeared? Deactivate. Activate. There we go. Transition. That's better. It's weird, like in OBS. Um the my capture card if it's open in like more than one scene sometimes it just doesn't want to work i don't i don't really know why sometimes it works fine other times it's like nah i don't i don't think i don't think i want to do that right now i'm just like okay bro that's cool thanks <laughs> you're on day 15 to 20 with an 800 dollars bonus hell yeah dude you're thinking christmas that's awesome man <laughs> that's really really cool it sucks working 24-7, and I never advocate that people work their life away, but, like, yeah, you know, when you have a goal for it, it makes it that much easier, at least, I find, you know? Like, whenever, whenever I think in my mind, like, if I just start thinking, I'm not coming to work today so that I can pay my bills this month, I'm coming to work today so that Mr. Noodle and I can have a nice trip in, in three months to wherever we want to go, or... You know, so I can buy my niece and nephew something they're really going to like for Christmas. Or I can buy Mr. Noodle her 6,000th uh, plushie. Or what What are those plushie calls? Squishmallows. Holy shit, dude. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were actually called. Going to work to buy Noodle Squishmallows. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Zabaltazar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Oh, so like, this is a whole nother village of them. And Zabaltazar and them somehow made their way here? And then like, was just like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna chill with them now? Ant village. Ah, uh, dude, for a second I thought that was an actual tree, but I guess it's pretty obvious that it's not. Also, I thought I saw, like, a frog hop across the screen or something. I think I might be going crazy. Like, there's <laughs> a possibility I'm, I'm, I'm going insane, guys. Apologies. You have a permanent spot at your store for Squishmallows now? Good. <laughs> that just means you'll be coming home with them uh, every week. Did I say that my daughter beat this already? You didn't, but that's awesome, man. Does she enjoy it, as far as you know? This machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. Blah, blah, blah. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. You're the scientist! Let's go! <laughs> I'm getting too excited. I'm dying. Was it? It was. Me. I was the scientist. I was human. I I need a moment. Caught it. <laughs> I kind of figured that much, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not particularly surprised, but... I just, I still am curious if all of the robots are human, or once were human, you know? That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting, but I don't know. I'm sorry, I... I need a moment, I don't feel like talking right now. Okay, so we can't talk to anyone at the moment. That's fine. I guess we just need to find Zabaltazar. We're getting the capsules too? capsules <laughs> the so uh, what are the capsules exactly are they uh are they like little blind bag squishmallow things or something like that like it's a little capsule you don't know what you're gonna get until you till you open it up or something i'm guessing little blind boxes slash bags okay yeah i mean that's that's what i figured We can't talk to anyone yet, so we must need to do something first. 
I want to go up that tree branch that we saw back here. Just because that sounds fun. Climbing trees as a cat, dude. Take purple plant. Ah, oh, shit, I can't. I can't do anything right now. God damn it. B12 is having an existential crisis, and now I'm screwed. <laughs> Don't tell my daughter it'll help me. <laughs> oh, God. Can't remember anything. Son of a bitch game. Why gotta be like this? I'm assuming once we meet Baltazar to be back to normal. What else have I forgotten? A lot, probably. Must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? That's what we're here to find out, little bro. <coughs> so mad about the Stam TV mount. One hour carpal tunnel and such acting up, thinking I'm nearing the end, and then it goes nope. That does really suck, dude. Hopefully your uh, your dad or someone has a, a masonry bit and you can uh, get it figured out without too much trouble. <laughs> what you're talking about? I took my COVID test and you're negative? Okay, that's good. I mean, I hope you stay negative, love. But, uh... But yeah, I mean, being in the house for a week with me, I wasn't sure if you would or not. I mean, you've also had both of your vaccinations, so yeah. There's a good chance, but you never know. What am I doing? Am I going to have to use the help feature? Do you guys know about the help feature on PS5? It's one of the coolest things about it, in my opinion. Honestly, I think it's really neat. Are they going to get mad if I hop up here? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, guys. I'm just a cat. You can't be mad at me. Had to put the legs back on it and all. Gonna have to repeat everything tomorrow. Crazy idea. Make sure that you can mount the TV before you take the legs and stuff back off of it again. Can I get over to there? I feel like that might be the Baltazar over there. Okay, no, not from here. Can I like hop down over here somewhere? No. What am I missing, damn it? I'm definitely missing something. Oh wait, he, he mentioned what else have I forgot? Can we check the memory now? No, no we can't. Aha, there we go. More up. What is this? Good question. What is this? Somebody that really likes the... What's that thing called? Lucky Cat? Gold Cat? <laughs> I know it has a name, but I can't actually remember what it's called. The Waving Cat thing. Hey, don't you know not interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? <laughs> oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know, Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of a plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. That's her address? I mean... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't really know how to read that, to be honest with you, but... To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Thanks, man. You're so kind. Sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? 
Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more of the companies, or head onward. Companions, or head onward. Uh, I say let's head down first. Because there's at least that one memory that we can that we can grab. Cook me? This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. <laughs> Go. People call me Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45 with my secret ingredient. Yummy, dude. So what is... Is that just... Is that just some, some RJ45 cabling in a bowl of water? Is that, is that what they're eating? Sounds delicious, dude. So this is just a way down. I want to go. I want to go where those dudes were like picking the stuff on the tree. That's what I want to do, but I don't know how or if we can get over there. Oh, we need to go back to the tree too, so we can grab that purple flower. That may or may not be necessary for something at some point. This language, the companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Damn it, we missed a memory somewhere. Hello. Isaac. I can't help but wonder what the purple flower is going to be used for. I'm assuming there will be a robot at some point that likes them. Just maybe thinks they're pretty or something. Hello, guys. Sorry that I ruined your game earlier. 9536 games 1 to 6. Holy shit, dude. Don't tell anybody. I'm actually programmed to win at this game. <laughs> uh. Can't talk to the other one? No. Hello, painter dude. May, did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. Beautiful, dude. Live your dreams. I love it. May is in her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. What's wrong with her practicing here, dude? I do believe the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I do love, I think is what it actually said. I'm an idiot. Can't smell anything. How sad. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> even, even crying there. There you go. I'll, I'll help you smell the, the fresh paint. A little bit more for you. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> Doesn't care. They don't care at all. Okay. Well, fine. I tried to help, damn it. Okay, nothing else over here. Back the other way. Let's go. Talk to you, sleepy dude. I don't think we've talked to you yet. Kundalich. Oh, hello there. It's been so long since we've had a visitor. Well, except those damn zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power. Having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. Infinite energy, dude. Let's go. Be light? Buy light? When I grow up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Aunt Village. I mean, there are a lot of Zerks out there that kind of want to eat your face, so I get it. I didn't mean to jump down here. Back up we go. Hello, excuse me. I'm taking your paint with me, I guess. Sorry about that. we hop on that pipe we can anything fun over here hello you soothing sounds of trash falling shimmering waterfalls no dangers 
It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete, shielding me in its womb. Shall you also be my tomb? You think it's too solemn? Nah, man. Beautiful. I don't know much about poetry, but I'd say that's a, that's a solid 9 out of 10. I think. Sounds reasonable to me. Okay, we talked to you guys. I think we've talked to everyone. Up we go. Is there a memory point over here or anything that I'm missing? Behind the counter? No? Okay. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I do appreciate it. Every bit is a huge help, guys. Thank you, thank you. Is there any way? Where are those... Over there. Like, I'm wondering if once we get up high enough, if we'll be able to take, like, a, uh, a paint can down or something like that. So that we can go and visit those dudes. How do they get up and down, right? Because, like... I'm super dexterous, so I can climb these pipes and shit like that. Are they climbing pipes and things, or how are they scaling this tower? Do they just never interact with each other? <laughs> like, they just live in this one tiny zone for the rest of their lives? Mallow, hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Ant Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colors, though. Missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only some small and agile, someone small and agile could get them for me. Well, since you mention it, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Could you find the other for me, please, please? I will certainly try. What was it? Yellow and yellow and red? I'm bored. And Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. Wait, they don't anymore? Why'd they stop? So, that takes us back down. We don't want to do that. Oh, shit. Go back. Back up. Can I hop over there? I want to knock those paint cans down. <laughs> Still going to be here, but you're finally folding your shirts. That's fine, love. Yes, let's go. Give me, give me the paint. If I just dump the paint on the plants, can I call it a, a purple plant or a red plant or, or whatever? <laughs> For some reason, I don't think it'll quite fool him. Now I really do just want to see one of them make their way all the way up here. Like, how do they do it without an elevator or something like that? Is this GG? We gone? We out of here? This city's so expansive. I There's a part of me that hopes they make another game at some point. But like, from the past. <laughs> you know, like whenever it wasn't just completely destroyed. Like, I just want to explore the city in its prime to see, like, what it was before the apocalypse came, man. Before the Zerks came. Because every time we round a corner, it's like there's, there's just more to it, dude. And it does, probably in part because you play, you know, a tiny little cat, but it does a good job of conveying a massive scale, even though it's the actual playable area is relatively small. Look, this is a subway station. I mean, they had whole subway stations connecting different parts together. Like, this place had to be huge, man. I'd completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it, too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. So you did have a family. I remember I was doing this for them. But they're gone now. It was so long ago. Maybe we'll find them as a robot, dude. 
They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. I'm, I'm going to continue working on the theory that all of the robots were once human. But like over the however many years, hundreds maybe, thousands, who knows. After, after such a long period of time, all of the robots kind of forgot who they were. Or maybe the, the upload wasn't wasn't complete or wasn't perfect or something for the rest of them. So they don't have like as much as much human traits, as much memory as as B12 here has. No memories or anything to collect in here, really? Hm. I guess not. Vending machine? Can we get can we get anything out of it? No. Okay. This one's not working. Hello. You have a memory spot. There's so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy. The exit. Uh, the God. The ethics of artificial intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. How to get that music playing, dude. Ladoc. Hello. Have you seen this person? I'm assuming you can't talk. <laughs> Will you talk now that I've rubbed up against you? No. Okay. You have forgotten how to use language, I take it. Well, shit, dude. I think this is a pretty good place to call it for the night, honestly. We're in a new area. We're looking for Clementine. I'm going to try and remember this the next time that we come about playing again. However many weeks that ends up being. Hopefully next week we'll be able to return to the podcast, the usual scheduled content. But if not, that's okay. That just means we get to play more Stray. But I'm going to get off because, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, oh, God. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit, though. I really do appreciate it. It was nice getting able to uh, talk to you all again. I, I really have missed you guys. And uh, hopefully we won't have any more extended breaks for quite a while. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, Tuesday. It's going to take me a moment to remember my schedule again now that we've been off for a week. Uh, we'll be playing some PS2 games, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. I did get one new one, by the way. I haven't put it on the list yet, but I got a uh, Tony Hawk game that I need to uh, verify works okay and then, and then shove on the list. So look forward to that, I guess. Anyways, until then, uh, be kind to each other and have a good night. Bye-bye, guys. Like I said, the, the jump is very floaty. And uh, 